All right, so I was uploading a few testimonials uh, because I'm creating a new sales page for the program. And that made me look and think about my most successful students. And I want to share with you four, four things that they have, four, four things that all these people have in common um, that I think will help you massively. So if you're a junior developer, if you want to make a career change, you should pay attention to this video. You already see the four traits, but it's going to be very helpful for you to understand the explanation behind those four traits. So then you can realize where you are fucking up. Because if you do not get these four traits, I can guarantee you, you'll be stuck in your job forever. Um, and you'll never make the money that you want. You'll never be able to work remote. You'll never, you'll be stuck in this shitty job that you have right now forever. I don't know how else to put it, okay? So the first ability they have is to shut the fuck up. Okay, so what do I mean by shutting the fuck up? Most of the time, uh, you know, we, we come into a new field, a new domain like programming. And then you have your own ideas about how things should be like how things should work out because uh, you are obviously smarter than everyone else and this comes from a guy who never shuts the fuck up okay i have wasted so much time and money on different people that tried to help me because i didn't shut the fuck up i didn't just follow what they told me to do and i came up with my own ideas, with my own interpretation of how things should be done. And that led to me being stuck or making slower progress than I actually wanted. Okay, I never shut the fuck up. But the guys that I work with who follow my advice, they shut the fuck up and they just did the work without questioning it. Because truth, truth of the matter is, if you're a junior developer, you have no idea about anything. That's why you're a junior, and that's okay. The problem is when you start to come up with, oh, maybe I should make my portfolio in this way, or maybe the job market should be more um, easy with, uh, with the juniors. They should give us a chance. The hiring managers should be nicer. The recruiters are assholes, blah, blah, blah. No, shut the fuck up. You don't know anything. You are a nobody, and you should accept that, and you are the underdog, and you should act like, a, like the underdog, and work really hard and follow the steps to becoming great if someone is going to give you the steps if not you have to figure out those steps by yourself and follow them if people tell you to build projects build projects okay and build cool projects good looking projects useful projects that are solving a real problem and trust me if you follow that advice without you uh, trying to outsmart someone, you will become successful, okay? Otherwise, you will not. And then look at where you are right now because you'll be there for the next 5, 10, 20, 30 years until you retire if retirement is going to exist. The next thing is to hustle. So hustle is very important. And I'm not talking about hustle in terms of like stealing money from people because that's very difficult and it takes way too much effort to do that. But anyway, what I mean by hustle is that you need to work really hard, okay? And then you might need to make some sacrifices, okay? So depending, of, depending on where you are in life, right? Let's, let's assume you are a single guy, right? If you're a single guy, if you want to hustle, then you need to start, you know, removing uh, friends from your life. As bad as it sounds, you might have to remove some of those friends. And if those friends do not understand what you're trying to do, then they are not your real your friends and they are just holding you back. Okay? You might need to cut out the Friday nights where you go and get pissed and uh, drink alcohol. Same with Saturdays. Maybe you need to start realizing that the food that you're eating uh, is slowing you down and you cannot hustle, you cannot work hard. When I was uh, a junior developer or aspiring developer, I stopped hanging out with my friends. I broke up with my girlfriend. I was literally obsessed with this. I, it was my only aim in my life to become a developer. And, you know, some, of, some, some people would be like, oh, you're exaggerating. Yeah, I'm exaggerating. 
that's why I'm in this position right now because I've been exaggerating. And most people, as you saw on LinkedIn in my uh, reviews, they are stuck in their shitty job for five years. They become LinkedIn zombies because they do not know how to hustle. They do not know how to sacrifice, okay? And you have to make sacrifices. If you have kids, if you are married, well, I cannot really give you advice from that point of view, but I can tell you what people uh, like that are doing in my program. They, they, they literally have a set time for their kids and for their coding. They have to make, you know, they have to have a conversation with the wife or the husband and whatnot, and then tell them, hey, look, this is not a joke. I'm not playing around. I want to make this happen. So please take this off my plate for this amount of time because I want to have, you know, the next six, nine, 12 months for myself to develop this ability to be able to make money. And then I can buy back my time because what you're doing right now is you are trading time to learn a skill which is going to give you more money, which will allow you to buy back your time. That's how you have to think about this. Okay. Then you need to be crafty. Sometimes you'll receive instructions, okay? Like step one, do this. Step two, do this. Step three, do this. But you need to be intelligent enough to learn how to be different, okay? Like, for example, someone says you should network because networking is the best uh, way to get a job. I disagree. I think it's good. If you like networking, you should be doing networking. But all methods work as long as you make them work. That's a side note. But when it comes to being crafty, like you don't just send someone a message like, hey, I like your company, right? Because you sound lame. You sound like everyone else. Maybe find something interesting about that person. Maybe you can find a way to relay with that person. And then you can start a conversation like that. So that's coming from you being crafty. If you do not have this ability, this skill of being crafty, you can develop it. Uh, I'm not going to talk about this in this video, and I don't really have this in my program, but this is something individual, and you need to realize that you are not crafty if you are not crafty, right? So if you are, then good for you. It's going to pay off massively. Uh, you're going to have a really easy time navigating the job search, especially if you are good and if you shut the fuck up. Uh, and it's going to help you massively when it comes to getting a higher salary, negotiating, and so on and so forth. Maybe a book that I can recommend to you is uh, 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. That's going to teach you how people think. And then uh, that's going to help you uh, speak with people in a way where they can, you know, gain a benefit from speaking with you, right? Because at the end of the day, everyone cares about themselves. Nobody cares about you. Um, so that, that might help you a lot. But yeah, this crafty, is very, being crafty is, is very important. And another thing that I, I noticed with them is if someone did it, I can do it too. It sounds so, so silly, but they all came in watching a testimonial or two from my uh, website and they were like, this guy was exactly in my situation and if he did it, I can also do it. Because I'm, I'm not dumber than that person. They have a bit of an ego, right? I'm not dumber than that person. So I just need to shut the fuck up, hustle, be crafty and the proof is there. I just have to figure out how to get myself there. I have to figure out how to be disciplined and how to not give up when shit sucks and whatnot. And this is pushing them forward. This is pushing me forward as well. I know there are other people out there uh, that had a worse situation than me and they made it. And that makes me think if that person did it, why not me? Like, I'm not dumber than them, okay? I have two hands, I have legs, I have a head. Uh, everything is working properly to a certain extent, I guess. Then I can also do it. There's nobody, like, stopping me from achieving this goal. I did this when I was learning how to code. I did this with my YouTube channel. I have a YouTube channel in the most saturated niche ever. Uh, and I still made it to a decent level, right? I don't have like hundreds of thousands of subscribers, uh, but that's okay. I don't really want that, really. I just want to be able to promote my stuff, right? So that's more than enough. So these are the four things that you need to become a software developer. And they are very simple to understand, but very hard to implement because 
they come back to who you are as a person and who you are as a person gave you what you have right now so if you're unhappy with what you have right now is because you as a person you are unable to go to the next step so you have to realize you have some weaknesses start working on them and then you'll get to the next level um, i hope this video helps if you want to be part of my community where we have uh, the course so we have the course html and css javascript react we have the team project and whatnot obviously i'm not going to show that because i don't want to the thing is everyone is asking me oh what is the team project and blah 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 and, and, I, and i cannot show it to you the reason why i cannot show it to you is not because i'm a bad guy but because if i then show it everyone is going to know about it so they will know that the pre team project is made by me and that team project is going to help you get the job because we don't have a portfolio of websites what we do is I'm going to put job experience on your resume and then the resume is going to point to that company that I've made. And then if everyone knows that the company is like fake, uh, you'll not get the job, right? So it's against my students' interest and against you if you come in. Because in that team project, you learn all the skills that you need to have to get a job and uh, to keep the job. Okay, that's why uh, some of my guys go from, you know, no experience in coding to mid-level sometimes and so i had a guy once he became senior straight from the program because of the team project so this is something to keep in mind that's why i don't show it uh then what else we have we have the calendar so here we have all the meetings throughout the week you can come in and ask any kind of questions you want and here in the community you can ask questions you can ask for help whenever you are getting stuck with something uh, then you can ask for a code review so I'm gonna check your code line by line and I'm gonna give you tips and whatnot so basically you are never stuck and you are on this like upwards trajectory actually I'm gonna leave uh, the link for the community in the description the second link so you can come in and check it out just please do not press join because uh, you know I'm gonna ban you because you need to pay to be part of this if you want to figure out if you are able to come and be part of our community that's the first link in the description so first link to apply for the community and the second link just to check it out you can actually see a few courses you can see the live coaching calls uh, and you know you can go through them see if you like the i guess how we hang out how we talk how relaxed we are how fucking cool we are uh, then we have interview preparation calls again you can this you know what's interesting <laughs> we have an interview prep call a week and i'm gonna work now on bringing three interview prep calls a week most people have zero interview prep calls and then if they get an interview they're gonna bottle it <laughs> it's absolutely sad but if you join my program every week guaranteed an interview prep call you can come in and then when you get that uh, interview for your first job you'll absolutely nail it it's as simple as that so i hope you like this video i'll see you in the next one first link to apply second link to check out the community peace out